a healthcare demo. In this episode, let us look at how we can manage hospital facilities in ERP Next Healthcare. In any department, generally, there will be two kinds of facilities. One is OPD facilities, which is outpatient department facilities like uh, consultation rooms and uh, nursing rooms, etc. And the other part is inpatient facilities, which includes operation theater, uh, general ward beds, ICU beds, etc. Now, let us see how we can manage all these facilities with ERP Next Healthcare. And I'm opening a demo ERP Next instance. Here you can see the desk interface. And on the left side, you can see all the modules. I'll just click on healthcare and it opens up healthcare workspace. And uh, here we have healthcare service unit. And we can use healthcare service unit to manage all the facilities. So I'm going to create a new healthcare service unit. I'll just click on edit in full page so that we can see all the details. So to create a healthcare service unit, we need to give unit name and unit type. So let us explore this uh, service unit type in detail. So let's say we want to create OPD rooms. I'll just uh, say OPD rooms. Let's say we need this for ortho department. And uh, since OPD needs appointments, I'll just click uh, allow appointments. And we can also enable overlapping appointments. Uh, this will be useful when uh, we allow overlapping appointments in practitioner schedule. So I'll just quickly show how that looks like. I'll just go to patient appointment and I'll book a new appointment. So I'll just select a doctor. I click on check availability. Yeah, here we can see this nine o'clock slot is already booked by some other patient. So we can't book the same slot since we are not allowing overlapping appointments here. And if I select a different doctor who has a different healthcare service unit, which allows overlapping appointments, here you can see number five, which means it allows five overlapping appointments for the same slot. So we can select and book the slot. So uh, for this, we need to use this allow overlap if required. So I'll disable allow overlaps for now. I'll just click on save. So we have created a new healthcare service unit type. And now I'm going to create a healthcare service unit. So I'll just call it OPD rooms. Oh, I'll just uh, mark it as a group and then click on save. So it has created. I'm just going to preview. And here we have ortho department, uh, which is currently empty. I'll just click on add child and I'll create ortho OPD room. And then I'll select uh, OPD room as type. And I'll just click on create. So now we have created a new OPD room for ortho. And we can go to any healthcare practitioner. If we click on uh, appointments, here we can see the schedule as well as the service unit. Here we can configure the corresponding uh, unit, which is 
ortho opd room and then we can click on save so that is how we can manage opd or uh, any other uh, outpatient facilities now let us see how we can uh, manage inpatient facilities let us go back to healthcare service unit type and let's add one more unit i will just call it ortho uh, op operation theater and it has inpatient occupancy and it is billable and here we can see group services and then unit of measurement will be days and then two hours 24 and uh, let's say the charge is 3000 per day and then i'll just start to opd price and let's click on save so now we have created one more unit type called as ortho ot and we can go back and create healthcare service unit so we'll just say ortho And then the unit type will be ortho OT, ortho OT general. I'll just say type will be ortho OT, and then I'll click on save. Yep, it has created a new service unit. Again, we can go to tree view and uh, we can click on expand all and you can see ortho ot is created click on patient encounter i'll create a new encounter yeah we have created a new encounter for this patient and let us schedule admission so I'll just say department as ortho and then click on order admission. Now this patient was asked to admit in the hospital. Let us go to inpatient records and you can see that patient is in the queue now. And let us admit this patient. We want to admit in general ward and that is ortho yeah you can see ortho bed let us admit this patient in bed one and expected discharge date is a week from now and let's admit yeah the patient is admitted now and if we come back and refresh here yeah you can see one bed is occupied out of 10 and bed number one is occupied and whenever uh, the patient gets discharged, it gets updated automatically. So this is how we can manage uh, inpatient facilities like operation theater, uh, ward beds, or ICU beds, etc. So that is how we can manage both outpatient as well as inpatient facilities in ERP Next Healthcare. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and stay tuned.